Hey guys and welcome to the battle phase. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at combos for the Naturia B Trooper deck that is posted on the channel. So what is the point of this deck? The point of this is a B Trooper variant that includes a small Naturia package in the deck to include Naturia Beast into every end board. Okay, so this, you know, might be very useful depending on the meta or decks that are very reliant on spells. So the combos are very, very consistent. You need one of your starters and one of your extenders to perform these combos. So Resonance Insect plus any Insect Extender is full combo. Teleading C plus any Insect Extender is full combo. And even Crawler Soma plus any no Insect Normal Summon is full combo. Besides these combos, you're also going to need one card to discard off of Insector Pick of Felinia, but that can be any card in your hand. So the combos are very consistent and I'm going to show all three combos in today's video. So let us start with the first combo and that is going to be the Resonance Insect plus one Insect Extender combo. So this is what we have here right now. So let's see the combo. Before that, if you like interesting combos, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Let's go into it. So we're going to normal summon our Resonance Insect and then because we control a Insect, we can special summon our pin. Now we have two insect monsters. So we're going to go link to here and we are going to summon our B Trooper Armor Horn. Okay, like this. We're now going to trigger the effect of Resonance Insect because he was sent to the graveyard. We can add a level five or higher insect from our deck to our hand. So we are going to be adding the Doom Dozer and immediately using the Doom Dozer effect, banishing two insects from our graveyard to special summon him. That's gonna trigger the Resonance Insect's second effect to send an insect from deck to grave. And we're gonna send none other than Gokipo. And Gokipo's effect that when he's sent to the graveyard, we can add a level four insect from deck to hand. We're gonna go ahead and add that second Resonance Insect to our hand. Because Armor Horn allows us to normal summon another insect monster in addition to our normal summon, we can then use its effect and normal summon the Resonance Insect here. Now we are gonna go Link 2 here, so two Insect Monsters, and special summon our Insector Pick of Felinia, and then use its effect as Chain Link 1, and the Resonance Insect effect as Chain Link 2. So first Resonance Insect effect is going to add us a level five or higher insect, that is gonna be Crawler Soma, there we go. And then Pico Felinia, we discard the card from our hand in order to equip a insect from our deck to Doom Dozer. And that insect is gonna be, of course, our third copy of Resonance Insect equipped here. Now we can use our Soma effect, special summon it by flipping Dozer face down and that will send the Resonance Insect to the grave. Now we again have two effects to resolve. So secondly, Crawler Soma is going to Special summon two crawlers from our deck. So we're gonna summon any two crawlers, doesn't matter. Firstly, Resonance Insect is going to add us Bear Gram to our hand because it's level five or higher insect. Now we are going to go link one, link one and link two. So that's link four of insects in order to special summon the B Trooper Invincible Atlas, the big boy. We're gonna use its effect to send our Doom Dozer from field to grave because he's useless when he's face down to special a B Trooper from deck to the field. We're gonna special summon our Sting Lancer, use its effect to search a spell or trap B Trooper. And this time we're gonna search B Trooper Landing who can fusion summon a insect fusion from our extra deck. We're gonna go ahead and activate Landing. So fusion summon one insect fusion monsters from your extra deck. And that is going to be, of course, our B Trooper Cruel Saturnus. One B Trooper monster plus one, um, plus one insect monster. And we definitely have that to special summon our Saturnus here. And then immediately use Saturnus' effect to add one B Trooper monster from our deck to our hand. We're going to be adding Sting Lancer that is going to work as a hand trap during our opponent's turn. Okay. At this point, we can use... Beargram's effect to banish three insect monsters from our grave to special summon it. 
At this point, we clearly want to banish both of our resonance insects to trigger their effect and any other insect we want, really. So we're going to do it like that. And now, again, we have to resolve both effects. So one resonance insect is going to send V Trooper Scout Buggy, and the other one is going to send Naturia Mole Cricket, who is an insect, and with that grants us access to our Naturia line. So we send both of these. And then, don't forget, we still have the Armor Horn in the graveyard. We can use its effect, banish two, three insects, so it's important we banish the Scout Buggy, plus then any two other insects we want, to special him from the graveyard. We can now use Cruel Saturnus, because an insect was banished face up, which it was, we can special summon him, and that's going to be our Scout Buggy here. Then Scout Buggy's effect is going to summon another Scout Buggy from our deck. Okay. You can now clearly see we have two level 3 monsters, so we're going to overlay them in order to special summon our Cicada King in attack position. Now we are going to use our Armor Horn plus our Cruel Saturnus, because that's a Link 2 and a Link 1, and both insects, in order to special summon our Papillon. Now our Papion has an on summon effect, it's going to be a chain link 1, but we're immediately going to chain Cicada King to that in order to negate Papion's effect, okay? So Cicada King negates the effect and changes his battle position. But when her battle position, obviously we have to detach a card for that to happen. But when Cicada King's battle position is changed, so you can special summon a Natura a insect monster from the grave, and that's obviously going to be our Naturia Mole Cricket here, okay? Now we can go ahead and use Naturia Mole Cricket's effect to tribute him in order to special summon a Naturia from the deck, and that's going to be our Naturia Camellia. Use Naturia Camellia's effect to send a Naturia card from the deck to the graveyard. That's going to be Naturia Sacred Tree. And then Sacred Tree's effect, because it's sent to the graveyard, we can add a Naturia card from deck to hand, and that's going to be Naturia Blessing. At this point, we're going to use our Papion, who's a Link 3, and our Soma, who's a Link 1, in order to go for a Link 4, that's clearly going to be our Appaloosa here. Only two counters for Appaloosa. And the final part, we're going to activate our Naturia Blessing to summon a Naturia from the grave. That is going to be our Naturia Mole Cricket here. Summon it back. And now we have a level 4 Earth Tuner and a level 1 Earth Non-Tuner. We can synchro them together in order to special summon our Naturia Beast to our field. And that concludes our end board. So at this point, we pass the turn to our opponent. So what do we have? We have a Monster Negate with Cicada King. We have two Monster Negates with Appaloosa. We have a Bear Grab board wipe for everything except insects during our next main phase. And we have Infinite Spell Negates with Naturia Beast. Not only that, we also have Sting Lancer in hand as a hand trap. Because during our opponent's turn, we can target an insect in our grave, target an card in your opponent's graveyard, banish both, and summon Sting Lancer. So it's another banish one from opponent's graveyard, hand trap effect. So that is the full board, but the specialty here is that the Naturia Beast is indeed a part of our end board, that it could be very strong against certain decks. Okay, so let's see how we perform the same combo using the Retaliating C as a starter, not the Resonance Insect. Now we are going to perform a similar combo, starting with a different starter that's going to be Retaliating C, again, plus any Insect Extender. This time we're going to go with Skill Bomber and any card to discard, right, for Pick of Filling it. Okay, so let's go into the second variation of the combo. Normal Summon Retaliating C. Because an Insect was Normal Summon, we can Special Summon the Skill Bomber, and we have two Insects we can go Link to here and go into our V Trooper Armor Horn. That is going to trigger the effect of Retaliating C because he was sent to the graveyard. He can add our Resonance Insect from deck to hand. Now we have an additional Normal Summon of an Insect off of Armor Horn, so we can Normal Summon the Resonance Insect here. And immediately Link 3 here, so that's a 2 and a 1, into Trap Tricks Atipus. So that's where Atipus comes really handy. A Link 3 Insect that just helps us trigger the Send Effect of Resonance Insect that was right now sent to the graveyard and triggers its effect, okay? In this position, it is going to add as the Doomdozer, again, a level 5 or higher insect. 
Activity Doom Dozer's effect, we're gonna banish the Resonance Insect plus any other insect, it doesn't matter. And that special summon the Doom Dozer here, that triggers the effect of Resonance Insect that was banished to send an insect from deck to grave, that's gonna be Gokipole as before. And then Gokipole's effect adds us a level 4 insect from deck to hand. We are going to be adding the B Trooper Assault Roller, who is an extender from deck to hand. We can now use Assault Roller's effect, banish one insect from our graveyard to special summon him. Now we have two insects, so we're going to use these two as Link 2 in order to summon our Insector Picophilinia here. Use Picophilinia's effect, discard the card from our hand, and equip a Resonance Insect from our deck to Doomdozer. At this point, we have an insect with more than 2,000 defense equipped, so we can send it to the graveyard here in order to special summon the ultimate great insect from our extra deck. Okay, this is basically a link one if you look at it, because it will trigger now the resonance insect sent to the graveyard. That is gonna add us the crawler Sama from deck to hand. Immediately flip the ultimate great insect face down to special the Kosama. Use Sama's effect, reduce its level to 2, and summon both of our crawlers from the deck. And then use a link 2, a link 1, and a link 1, all insects, in order to summon our big boy, Beach Trooper Invincible Atlas. Use its effect, sending the face down ultimate great insect that's otherwise useless to the grave to this time summon Scout Buggy straight from the deck. And then use Scout Buggy's effect to summon the other buggy straight from the deck. At this point we can already overlay them for our Cicada King to level 3 monsters. Okay, at this position we can clearly banish 3 insects and don't forget to banish your resonance insect among those, otherwise others don't matter, to summon back the armor horn from the graveyard, okay? Don't forget that you did banish the resonance insect that is gonna send an insect from deck to hand that's gonna be obviously our mole cricket, okay? In this position, we now have a link two and we can use the giant atlas as a link one so that we have a link three here to special summon our papillon here. And don't forget that papillon triggers its effect on summon but we chain cicada king detaching to negate that effect and switch it to defense. Because its battle position was changed, we can special an insect from our graveyard, and that's going to obviously be our Mole Cricket here. Okay? We now have a Link 3 and a Link 1. This is a Link 4 together. We can quickly, without hesitation, make the Appaloosa here for 2. And now use Mole Cricket's effect, tributing him to special summon the Camellia from deck. Camellia on summon effect sends a Naturia card from deck to graveyard, that's gonna be Sacred Tree. Sacred Tree triggers when sent to graveyard adds a Naturia card from deck to hand. We're gonna add the Blessing, and we're also gonna activate the Blessing, special summoning a Naturia from grave. That's obviously gonna be our Mole Cricket that's gonna get special summoned back. And again, we have a level four tuner earth, level one non-tuner earth. Together that makes a level five. And you already guessed it, it is Naturia Beast that comes back. So. With Retaliating C, although we do not have the Sting Lancer and the Bear Gram on the board, we still have a Monster Negate, two Monster Negates, and Infinite Spell Negates with Naturia Beast. So still a pretty, pretty hefty board. But what's really cool in this variant that Crawler Sama is not just a needed extender, it can also be a starter. So let's see how it can be used as a starter to achieve a similar end board. So, Crawler Sama is also full combo by itself as long as you open another insect normal summon and obviously a discard for picophilinia so let's show this combo off as well so you normal summon your normal summon flip it face down in order to trigger the soma then soma effect make it level two and we get our both crawlers from deck to the field now we go with our two crawlers we're gonna go link two and we're going to this time go straight into Picophilinia. Discard the card, use Picophilinia's effect to equip a Resonance Insect to our Crawler Soma here. 
Karasama also has more than 2,000 defense. It is equipped, so we can just send it to the graveyard in order to summon the ultimate great insect right there. That triggers Resonance Insect to add Doom Dozer from deck to hand. Okay. Now we use Doom Dozer effect. We banish any insect plus obviously the Resonance Insect to special the Doom Dozer. Resonance Insect was banished. That can send the Goki Pole in order to add a level 4 insect from deck to hand, that's going to be the Resonance Insect. We have two insects again, so we go another Link 2 here, into Armor Horn, to a zone Picophilina points to. Armor Horn Extra Normal Summon is going to be used on our Resonance Insect, clearly. Now we're at this position, we have two Link 2 insects, so we can link them off into our B Trooper Invincible Atlas. Use its effect to tribute off Resonance Insect. Okay, Resonance Insect was sent after Atlas's effect and can add us from deck to hand the B gram. Okay, it's the bear gram. Okay, and then obviously the special summon from deck is gonna be Scout Buggy. And that's Scout Buggy's effect to special the other Scout Buggy. Okay, we now overlay them to level 3 monsters to make our Cicada King. Okay, now we don't forget we still have Armor Horn and Grave, so we are going to banish any two insects here, let's say Doom Dozer and Goki Pole, plus it clearly has to be Resonance Insect to summon back the Armor Horn here. Resonance Insect was banished, so it can send an insect, and we're obviously sending out the Mole Cricket to get access to our engine. At this point, we are going to be using our... Link 2 here and Invisible Atlas as a Link 1. In order to go for our Papillon, Papillon's effect chain Link 1 negate with Cicada King by detaching one card here. Cicada King gets Swift to defense, this is negated, and effect to reborn an insect from grave, that is our Mole Cricket. At this point, we can use our Bear Gram in the graveyard, banishing three insects, so let's say. Buggy, Receptor, and Sala in order to special summon him and use him and Papillon for Link 4 to summon our Appaloosa. That is indeed a 2 negate Appaloosa as before. Now we just have to do the Mokrik and Shenanigans, use its effect, tribute himself to special summon from deck Camellia. Camellia's effect to send Sacred Tree to Grave, Sacred Tree effect to add blessing to hand and then we use the blessing here in order to special back from our grave the mo cricket and now we have as always before a level five all requirements met naturia beast okay so ending this combo as before with two negate appaloosa cicada king negate infinite spell negates in beast and we still have the face down insect here because why not, right? We couldn't get rid of it. So that is the combos, right? This is the Naturia B Trooper variant. So a basic B Trooper variant deck that does uses the Naturia engine to always end on Naturia Beast, right? Now, is it better than any other B Trooper variant? Probably not, right? The Naturia engine does take quite a few spots in your deck, right? In order for you to allow to go for Naturia Beast. But I would say at most it's a fun variant and it's situational. You know, if the mana calls for it, if there's a lot of spell heavy deck, the Turia Beast might be the answer to that. So don't forget to check the deck profile video. Uh, hope guys you like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.